wait, 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 before you start, let me check my hair. Okay. Gotta make sure it looks good. Fluff it up. <laughs> New Orleans has got their French coffee and beignets. Well, Troy, Alabama has crow's chicken, and there's nothing like it. Well, as you can see, I'm a collector. I uh, started collecting rocks when I was about 12 up in Huntsville and uh, just loved to, to pick up crystals and rocks. There was a Baskin Robbins across a big soybean field in, across from our neighborhood and I'd ride my bicycle across that. I started finding flint and then I started finding artifacts, arrowheads. I'm so blessed to be with a great company like Alpha. I tried for two years to get with Alpha and then lo and behold the office that opened up was right next to Crow's Chicken. When I walk out into the parking lot I look across and I'm thinking do I want to go home for lunch and just eat a sandwich but I look across and I look into those windows and that crispy fresh hot steaming chicken is mounded up uh, it's beautiful it's like a like a pile of rocks to me almost you know as much as I love uh, crystals and and rocks this is my hometown and this is where I used to come and eat and so to me I always am comparing chicken tenders in my mind with you know is it as good as crows and for me I really haven't come across any that are, are as good they have a really a, a great breader on them uh, it looks to me like a, a flour breader but it comes out really crispy uh, and it's really kind of there's a lot of these little little bitty like intermittent flakes in here which um, really add to the crunch level of it you can see when you crack it open it's just a beautiful piece of fried chicken it's really a perfectly cooked, it's nice and moist on the inside, and you get this great crunch from the breader. I remember a few years ago that there was this contest that was featured in the paper, you know, like, if anyone can guess what's in the crow's sauce, they get like a year of crows for free, and uh, I, no one was able to do it. My opinion is definitely just sort of a, an emulsification of some kind. There's some sort of little little black speck in there. I have some guesses about what's in it, but I, I'm not gonna give away my opinion on the, on the secret sauce at crows. I really like to take the chicken tender, sort of smash it right in there, and then a little bit of the little bit of the, the secret sauce. Mm, outstanding. I knew it was coming when I opened up. Oh, we what can't wait to eat this fried crow. I mean, it's gonna be great. And I heard that for years. You can't rem not remember crow's fried chicken. It, it starts with a C here. Why don't make me a big breast here, like the chicken breast? of a crow uh, and then I put a head on it came back I said that's it that's that's what I want in crow's chicken there, there's not just frying chicken there's a lot to go into it the marination the right oil the right temperature the right cooking time and we did it right I had these three individuals that were working with me they bought the three stores from me. Well, two of them are still in business. Patsy uh, Gibson, uh, the lady in Brundage, she started working with me when she was 14 years old. She has a very good store. Robert Jones had worked with me for years. He owns Troy, and Robert's been very successful in Troy. may have two regrets. I didn't play football at Auburn. <laughs> I had an opportunity in a second. Might be... Uh, uh, I wished I had had a lot more courage, but I said, you know, I'm doing a lot of other real estate development, and uh, I'm I'm okay, and I probably have some regrets not pursuing Crow's Fried Chicken. I'm a lifelong resident of Troy, I've been all born and bred. I uh, came to work for Mr. Crow in 81, 1981. My whole life has been centered around restaurant. I started in restaurant business when I was 12 years old as a waiter, and you know, we just progress up the ladder. Worked for him for 17, 18 years, and he finally decided, well, he wanted to branch off into something else. So he got into real estate, and he give, give us an offer. You know, we can lease the business, and 
you know, rather than work for somebody else, if you're already doing it, you know, you do it for yourself. When I first got started and I heard a story, they said, well, when you get in business, if you stay in business 10 years, it's a success. So I think, of that being said, I think we've been a success more than once. So I'm very proud of what we accomplished here and I hope that we can continue to, you know, do so. I have four kids and my wife, and so there's six of us. And Friday night, I drove through the drive-through and I got six medium nugget snacks, three large Dr. Peppers, three large sweet teas, and 20 extra sauces. <laughs> my wife and I grew up together. One of our first uh, dates was to go to the Alabama-Tennessee football game uh, at Legion Field. And the one thing that we had to do as we on our way uh, heading up to Legion Field was pick up Crow's Chicken. That's one of the neat things about uh, growing up here. I got to meet a lot of people that came from all over to Troy. And one of the things that everyone always wanted to talk about was Crow's and the sauce, of course. It's become legendary and uh, I think it's uh, really neat, so. setting up a nice little gallery space in there. It's gonna beat the Guggenheim. <laughs> That's where the Strider come. I built him in, in New York City, put him on the street illegally, <laughs> got in some trouble. I go down to Crows over here. I got a bicycle. I, I don't go very far. <laughs> I think Crows is Especially, I like the girl that works down there. She's very, I love her. What makes y'all come to Crow's? Uh, the sweet tea and the sauce. The sauce. <laughs> I like Crow's chicken on Friday night when it's catfish. It's good. Do you think it's the best you've ever had? Yep. <laughs> Chick fil A is not good. <laughs> and I came to Brunnington in 1999. That's when I took the ownership of Crows. The key to success, you have to stay into a business. If you have to work 40 hours, 80 hours, if you want to succeed, you have to stay with it and work with it. You can't just open it up and just leave it there. Talk about the, the, the chicken here and uh, how much you like it. It's a little bit different. I'm not exactly sure what the differences are. I know that um, the one we had in Troy definitely had a little bit more salt on it than these. Uh, not to say that these are under seasoned. There's just a little bit of a salt difference, but it's both really excellent. This is something I would have never expected to get at a crow's chicken is catfish. And this is something you will never probably ever see at the at the Crows and Troy uh, fish. And this looks great. Nice looking whole catfish. It's a uh, delicious, good catfish. Well made from a chicken shack. What do you think about that catfish? It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you get the little box and it's like the whole experience. Like I hope they never change their packaging because you pop up the corners and, and open it up and it's kind of like a little present almost. I can't tell you how many people say what I wouldn't give for some crow's chicken right now. People that live off that can't get it or don't come home to visit. In fact, I know someone who lives in Alaska, I believe, that paid somebody to mail them some crow's sauce. It's, it's one of those things that you can't get anywhere else. It's great to feel grounded and feel like you know where you came from. Um, I don't know, it, it, we, lived in the, we lived in Nashville for a while and it's a great city, but you're just kind of anonymous and in Troy. Um, everybody knows you. It's one of the things that I ran from is the thing that is beautiful about being back home.